Welcome back to the MyPro Golfer channel. Tonight we're going to go over the much anticipated pitching wedge and how you should swing it. Hey, thanks for watching today's episode. Here at My Pro Golfer, you know we like to keep things simple. And today, I've got a special gift for you to help you never miss a five foot putt again. Click the link below and download today. All right, so as we continue this series on how to swing the golf club, a lot of you have been asking about the pitching wedge, and so we wanted to make sure we got to that. And if you're just starting golf, you really just need a pitching wedge, a putter, seven iron, some sort of lofted fairway wood, and a driver. So if you're watching this series and you're like, man, I'm just starting golf, I don't wanna know every club in the bag, just key on those five and really get good at those and then you can let that maneuver into all the clubs that you're gonna hit in your life. And remember, so if you're watching this series, the biggest key for getting good at the golf swing is just making sure that we got that good athletic stance and we want to just swing the club really gently and slowly in front of us so that we can feel the weight in the club grip, shaft, and head because the head of the club is what you want to imagine is hitting the golf ball. A lot of times when you're a good athlete, you're used to having a club or the ball or something in your hands and then that movement pattern is really easy for you. Imagine you're swinging the golf club and your hand is this piece. So when you're swinging, your actual movement pattern is having to delay its normal response, which is this, to extend it 37 to 48 inches, depending on what kind of club you got. So when you're swinging a golf club, you wanna get your body moving and really feel the movement pattern so that this is part of feeling like you're throwing the head of the club as if it was your hand. So keep that motion in your mind as you make these little half swings. All right, gang, so what should that half swing look like? We're just gonna try to get ourselves in that solid posture again, and we're just turning the body enough so that we got some weight distribution on that backside, and we want that club to be parallel with the ground. And then you just wanna turn your body back and around and feel the end of the golf club swinging around yourself. Make that feel a few times. I'll do it on this line for you. My target, if you can see it in the distance, is that white flag. We're just trying to get the body to work with the club as we go. So let me show you what the half shot will look like. I'm always gonna put my club head down behind the golf ball so that I can guarantee myself a good alignment to the target that I'm aiming at. Take my stance and we're just gonna try to feel that same sensation right here, especially if you're just brand new to golf. So you gotta get your body up and over that shot, half back, half through, and you're just trying to make solid contact so that the ball shows up on the face. Hopefully you can see that where the grass stain is high on the face. If you're hitting it down here, it's too thin. We wanna really get in and deep into that turf. All right, so hopefully you made the contact like I did here and, and really got into the face. And so there's only a couple little changes from that half swing feel to the full swing. And it's really just shoulder turn. So our bodies are in a good place. If you can make this move where the club just swings half and half, then all you're gonna do is let that momentum carry your body. Remember, this is not a very technical drill. We're just trying to get you to understand how to swing the golf club and not get too brain dump in what the golf swing takes to actually swing it. So we're just trying to feel in this video what it feels like to swing the pitching wedge. So as you bring it back, let that momentum carry you around and not up. So the biggest killer in the golf swing is with this weight of the club, makes everybody wanna lift and moves their body weight into bad positions. You see that every day on the driving range if you're out practicing on your own. So just feel that club and let that momentum turn within yourself. Even if your club's way back here, this position is way more important than, wh than where that club is headed, okay? So the body's gonna control the club and you're gonna let your body swing the club around yourself. And so using that core, letting the body turn, letting that club get behind you and turning that shoulder as if you're throwing something 
Okay, that's the movement of the golf swing. It's not a hit sport. Those of you that play baseball and you're in this position, good luck at golf. It's gonna be a tough day. Imagine yourself as you're throwing the club. So once you get the club back, I want you just to feel like you're throwing it through impact all the way up to the top of your swing. All right, audience, moment of truth. Putting my money where my mouth is, second swing of the night. You saw my club face. I've only hit one shot and I just did with the half. Let's test out how this olive tree method works. And right now it's just swinging the golf club. So you can tell by my setup, I've got a nice balanced setup just like we did in the short swing. And all I'm gonna do is let the momentum carry it just a little bit further so I can swing through this impact zone. Oh man. I'm pretty pleased with that, especially because it's getting late in the evening. I've got some tough times seeing the actual ball down there, but boy, that actually came out really clean and right at my target. So I'm pretty satisfied with this first video of swinging the pitching wedge. Hey, just want to remind you to not forget on getting your free gift below on how to never miss a five foot putt. All right, so if you've watched these videos and you say to yourself, gosh, it looks so simple out here, but you've never really ever hit balls and you want to do something, we've got a great opportunity for you. Go to my website, myprogolfer24.com, and purchase the From Couch to Course video series. This video series takes you through all four steps of the olive tree method that I'm teaching you to swing the golf club with, and it gives you some bonus videos on putting and chipping and really how to get started at this great game. If you have not checked out myprogolfer24.com yet, Go and do that right now. All right, gang, so hopefully you like that. Let's recap what we talked about. Get yourself in a nice, solid stance, relaxed sensation. I want you to really work on doing that half swing first where you really feel the club swinging back and forth. Just the weight is all you need to feel. And then as you actually go to swing, once you've hit about 10 or 15 balls of that half swing, let your body load the weight of the club up without lifting and then throw the club through impact, finishing fully on your lead leg. Allow the club to do the work for you so that you don't overextend yourself in this process. Guys, I hope you like this series. If you do, like it. If you like it, subscribe. We got tons of videos coming out each and every week for you at six o'clock on Thursday mornings. And we've got some great news here at Summerfield Golf Club. The driving range is under construction and it's gonna be an amazing place to come get a golf lesson and play golf and practice in 2024. Guys, we'll see you all next time, next Thursday at six o'clock.